are not your kids, Callan. You're stupid. You kids. You're Callan. stupid. My oh, kids are not. I don't think so. Family lies and betrayal. Girl, you know how many men you've been with? You raised this girl. That have resulted in men denying their children. Seriously? How many guys came in and out the door? Oh, behind the door? How many times you got You'll hear their stories. Yeah. Don't love your mother? She's a pig. Oh, my Lord. And the paternity test results. Hey, baby, I know you want to be a father. Dylan will be revealed. Everybody, welcome Jessica and her boyfriend, Catlin. together, two and under, two-year-old Camden, one-year-old Kaysen, two-month-old Callie. But apparently with these two young adults, there is a destructive force in their lives, a woman named Sherry, who is Catelyn's mother. And Sherry is dead set on convincing Catelyn he's not the father of all three of these kids. Sherry, watch. This girl, Jessica, has been pulling the wool over my son's eyes for the past three years. It is my job as a mother to make him wake up and realize she's been shady with him since day one. I know that Catelyn is not the father of Jessica's three kids, and I'm about to tell you why. As you can see here, Camden has blonde hair, blue eyes. Catelyn and Jessica don't have any of those traits. But you know who does have all those features? Jessica's neighbor, who she spends an awful lot of time with. Jessica got pregnant with Kaysen just weeks after Camden was born. I think she's trying to trap my son. Kaysen has blue eyes and a great big head. My son has an egg head and dark hazel eyes. Around the time she got pregnant with Callie, Jessica was caught flirting with one of my exes in the liquor store. It may seem that I'm the bad guy in this situation, but I'm not. Jessica is the manipulator here. And the DNA test will finally show my son the truth. Oh, boy. Catelyn, your mom. She's a piece of <laughs> Oh, my Lord. Oh. From day one, this woman has tried to sabotage our relationship. She has done everything in her power. She has denied my children. Yes, and face. and I'm, I've never, I have been nothing but faithful to this man. We have three beautiful children together, and she's missed out on two and a half years of their life. And you've tried to be nice to her, haven't you? Our first doctor's appointment, or our first when we had Camden, she was at the hospital. I allowed her. I was civil with her. And... The next day, she turned on you. It's the neighbor's kid. It's the neighbor's it's kid. It's the neighbor's kid. It's like, it is absolutely insane. Do you have any doubt that these kids are yours, Catlin? I have no doubt. Like, I know they're my kids, period. Like, there's no reason. Sorry, Catlin. Yes. So she's not in these kids' lives. These three grandkids. We've tried to have her in the kids' life, but man, That's it just lie. gets so bad. Oh, yes, man. My God. Insane. You like, see, here's the thing with Sherry. She runs her mouth like she she acts like she knows everything. Oh, yeah, by the way, doesn't she drive down the street <laughs> and yell at your she oldest was, child? That's not your father? I was she with, yells at? I was checking the mail, and she drives by, and she's yelling that my son needs a DNA test because he's the neighbors. <laughs> Are what you the kidding hell is that? Me? I don't care if my kids have blonde hair, brown hair, red hair. He's the father. And, what, and by <laughs> the way... This is not the first time she's done that, Catelyn. No, every she's girlfriend, done that. Daddy, every no. girlfriend you've she had. She would go and tell every girl that I was with life. that I had a, a disease and like, I couldn't even have a relationship because she, she told all the girlfriends. She told all the girlfriends you had an yeah, STD. She ran her mouth and was just oh, she ruined it. everything. First month we were together, I.